<laughs> Did you know about this time travel in Minions, the rise of Gru? I'm in. A riddle for you in the end. Excited. Now back to the fact. Here's the thing about that. Kind of a funny story. Yeah, give it. Before Gru leaves to find the stone, he and the Minions have a meeting. Dad. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. In that scene, there are two Minions covered in green paint jelly-like substance, one behind Gru and another behind Otto, in the close shots. Really? <gasps> but as the camera zooms out, the minion behind Gru just magically vanishes and appears behind Otto. Now the both of them are behind Otto. What the heck is this? That one is either the fastest minion ever. <gasps> or, yeah, that's probably just a goof up. Yep, definitely a goof up. What? Riddle time, why did the minion take his banana to the doctor? Voice your answers in the comments. <laughs> Do I dig it? Do I dig it? I don't dig it. There's nothing to dig. Did you notice the splendor in Minions? The rise of Gru. Holy guacamole! During the you're no good scene, in the Corvette car, the fuzzy dice hanging from the rear view mirror shows the numbers 3 and 4 at the same time on adjacent sides. Wait a minute. What? Which is impossible, since they are usually set to appear opposite to each other on a dice. <laughs> Did you notice this car's reference in Minions, The Rise of Gru? Ah, Frisco! Disco! Wow. <laughs> it's your lucky day, Chit. I'm headed up the coast. I could drop you off on the way. <gasps> During the bike hitch hike to San Francisco scene, oh, look up! as Otto rides up the coast on the back seat with the motorcycle guy, they make some funny faces in the reflection of the rear of a tanker trailer. Uh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Back from the first Cars film, does exactly the same thing while following the rear of a different tanker trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long time no see. Punk. Let's hit it. <laughs> Did you notice these mistakes in Minions: The Rise of Gru? Josh, pump it up. These are a few goof ups related to factual errors and period accuracy in the movie. Let's rock and roll! Based on the clothing and hairstyles, this movie takes place in the mid-70s. Obviously. When Gru and the Minions go to watch Jaws at the movie theater, the auditorium has a stadium seating. Stadium seatings in movie theaters were not invented until 1995. Oh, not cool, man! In the scene where the Minions were being trained in Kung Fu. We have a lot more work to do. They were dancing to Funky Town by lip sync. Ah! This song wasn't released until March of 1980. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. In a scene, the Minions mimic the greeting from the Steven Spielberg sci-fi movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. <laughs> which wasn't released until 1977. Ah, how should I know? Aye, aye, aye. Maybe they are proposing that Steven Spielberg ripped off the Minions' original creation. What? Who knows what kind of trouble we could get into? <laughs> Did you notice these mistakes? Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Don't worry. Do let us know if you noticed any other. Bus off. Shoot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Choose. Uh, fuck you. Bye-bye. Did you notice this mistake in Minions? The Rise of Gru. All right. Joke's over. Showtime. In the scene where Gru steals the Zodiac Stone. He took the stone. And the Vicious Six chases him. Yeah, baby. Bell Bottom uses her gold chain to lasso and catch the minions, which subsequently breaks. Exciting. She had taken it off, and her waist was bare clearly. <sighs> but in the next shot, it is shown wrapped back around her, mended and restored. This is unacceptable! Unacceptable! Is this the magical Wonder Woman's lasso of truth or something? What's wrong with you? Had you noticed this one? Uh, see? You're fired! Did you know in Minions, the rise of Gru? Baby. This is the longest advertised animated film in motion picture history due to a nearly two and a half year gap between its first trailer and its official release. Holy guacamole! Where can we listen? Where can we listen? In the bike chase scene, we witness a blue van with blossoms gliding over little Gru and the minions while they are fighting with the vicious six. And Does the van remind you of anything from the 1970s? Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what happened? If you look really closely, it looks a lot like the legendary Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. You have to pay for Netflix? Did you notice these mistakes in Minions, The Rise of Gru? Hello? In Minions, Gru is shown meeting Dr. Nefario for the first time at VillainCon. VillainCon! Woo! 
However, the recent movie Minions, The Rise of Gru, shows the meaning for the first time at Criminal Records. Oh! Oh, sorry! Thanks, Mr. Nefario. That's Dr. Nefario. The first Minions film also shows Gru being mesmerized by Nefario's freeze ray from VillainCon. Uh. However, the new movie Rise of Gru has Nefario claiming that the Sticky Fingers gadget is the first weapon he ever showed Gru. If you ever get famous, remember who gave you your first gadget. <laughs> Did you notice these mistakes? Share your thoughts in the comments. That is pretty <laughs> Did you know in Minions, the Rise of Gru? Time to strike! The song used in this movie's second trailer that came out on the 30th of March 2022 is the famous 2002 song Lose Yourself by Marshall Mathers, also known as Slim Shady, also known as Eminem. With musical guest Eminem. This is fun. Are you having fun? <laughs> of course. And Eminem, are you having fun? One shot, one opportunity. Kind to show the world who's mini boss. I'm not Minnie. Please stop calling me that. We understand why this song was used as a background for Gru's story. I'm not. Uh. Did you know in Minions, the rise of Gru? Oh, yes, please. Uh, okay, the movie marks the first Despicable Me film in five years and the first movie in the franchise not to be directed by Pierre Coffin. In the airplane scene, Stewart is seen in the bathroom being sucked into the toilet because of air pressure changes. Next to him, we can also see a roll of pink toilet paper, which may be a nod to French culture. A fun fact, it is very commonly found in France. Toilet paper is almost always pink in France, and it's often floral patterned. But the roll of toilet paper is also a foreshadowing to the Despicable Me 3 when the Minions put on a big show singing and dancing with rolls of pink toilet paper. <laughs> no, no, ha, ha. Whoa, 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 everybody! Did you forget what time it is? Did you know in Minions, the rise of Gru? I cannot wait. When Gru and his Minions go to the movie theater, he releases a stink bomb on the entire audience. Does this remind you of something? Uh, so far, no. No, they don't. Because this was not the first time Gru used a stink explosive. This is a direct reference to the first Despicable Me film. Is the new weapon you ordered? No, no, no. I said dart gun, not... Okay. Where Dr. Nefario presents Gru with his new invention, the fart gun, which he heard and believes Gru demanded. Although Gru asked for a dart gun. Oh, yes. Because I was wondering, under what circumstances would we use this? This small green bomb also looks similar to the poison bombs Green Goblin uses in the Spider-Man movie series. <laughs> Did you know in Minions, the rise of Gru? Ah! Yes! When the movie was released in China, the end scenes, that is, a part of the funeral of Wild Knuckles, was cut and replaced because of a censorship, with a slideshow stating that Wild Knuckles was arrested and sentenced to 20 years in prison for trying to steal the Zodiac Stone again. Wild Knuckles was my favorite villain. There, he pursued his love of acting and started his own theater troupe. This is the big one! Oh, oh, ah. While Gru returned to his family and is shown as becoming eventually one of the good guys, and his biggest achievement being the father to his three girls. Is this heaven? This is majorly because of China's concerns around political correctness and to imply its values into its people that you can't always get away with stuff, and that it's eventually good to be good. Party's over, old man! <laughs> Who is this? Kevin. Kevin uh, Le Mignon. Kevin Le what? Le Mignon. You kidding me? Did you know in Minions, the rise of Gru? Gru! He's not a mama! In the post credit scene, the Minions Dungarees features a Gru emblem. Oh la la! Remarking that they have already started working for Gru. They're now Big Boss. Mini Boss? Big Boss! Big Boss! Big Boss! I like that! 